Smell bad or what? Yeah, you stinky. You metalheads are you're the stinkiest fandoms. Oh. Winslow, I'm just trying to pick an album to listen to, man. Why are you being such a dick? Oh, you, it's awful, please. I mean, I can't smell that bad, man. I mean, hey, imagine if I was a Smash Bros. player. Imagine how stinky that would be. Oh, true. They they are pretty stinky. Yeah. What about World of Warcraft players? World of Warcraft is pretty bad too. Or furries? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Wait, oh. Winslow. You're making me think, what exactly is the smelliest fandom? Has anyone ever actually discussed this subject? We have to be the first, right? Yeah! No one ever online has ever thought about this, ever. No, never. And we're the first. Yeah. So, I know what we're gonna do today. We're gonna find out who exactly is the smelliest fandom. <laughs> Let's go! Uh, take a shower while you're at it, you stinky fuck. Oh, it smells so much better now that that fat fuck's gone. Hey, I hear you, Winslow. Oh, oh, mm, you stinky fat fuck. Oh, it's so much nicer in here. I can finally get some rest. Mm, me, 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 me. All right, welcome back to the Papa Meat channel. How you doing, how you doing? Come on in and sit on down because today we're talking about something I think is extremely important. What exactly is the smelliest fandom? Now I want to go on record here because we have a couple fandoms that have gotten mad at me before on the list, okay? I just wanna put that out there. This is not a direct insult of the content itself. It's just my own personal experiences and what I guess my own assumptions of what a lot of these things smell like. So this is very opinion based. I don't want people getting fucking hard feelings about it, but at the same time, be honest with yourself. I'm gonna be honest with myself as well. And I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pull through. I think I'm gonna be a perfect representative to find out what exactly is the smelliest fandom. And the list goes as follows. Anime. Marvel, World of Warcraft, Smash Bros, Call of Duty, Fortnite, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Burnings, Furries, Costco, Walmart, Steven Universe, Hasbin Hotel, Swifties, Metalheads. This is, I'm not saying that this has every fandom imaginable that might be smelly, but I thought that this was a good collection of fandoms to talk about here because I at least, I feel like I kind of, I've experienced at least a little bit with some of these fandoms. And also I think that they're widely, it captures a good wide net of people. So hopefully you all feel maybe represented or maybe you're learning a little something new today. So first round, let's fucking go. Anime versus Marvel. This is a fucking hard one to start with, dude. Anime on one hand is, it's kind of polarizing because I've seen a lot of people do One Piece cosplay. I went to, yeah. Nick by the camera. I've been to enough conventions or game shows to see people dressed up in crazy outfits, but it's not necessarily the looks, but it's just the smell. There's just a particular smell that some people have that is, and it's, I mean, it's sweat, I guess, essentially, but I'm trying to think if I really had to compare. The only thing really here is Marvel fans is I have one very particular memory of, I went and saw Infinity War at a theater in Utah when it came out and a guy was in front of me when we were like getting our tickets and the guy reached down into the back of his pants, scratched his ass and then brought it up and was like, and smelt it in front of me, and I almost I almost threw up. That was unbelievable. And also when we saw Doctor Strange, there was the people dressed up as Doctor Strange and in the bathroom, it was like the worst piss smell. But does that count? Does it count if it's if what's leaving their body? Like piss? Well, sweat. I also remember one time I was at a Barnes & Noble in the anime section, picking up a little Helsing back in the day, and this guy had uh, copies of Bleach that he was taking off the counter, and he like coughed a bunch, and I don't know if he like shit himself during that. I didn't hear a fart or anything, but he was like, Ooh! Like that, like that kind of cough. And then immediately I just smelt like this vomit, like this vomity kind of acidic thing. And then just like an underlaying layer of shit as well. And I know that stuck with me. And I, that was like one of the main reasons I never picked up bleach when I was 
was younger. I was like, I don't want to be gross like that guy. Do you think that was his breath? It might have been his breath. I don't know. I mean, it was like, Ugh! What's interesting, too, is I would say both Marvel and anime fans are built similar. Like, you could put a Captain America shirt on somebody, and you could also put, like, a One Piece shirt on somebody, and you would probably never know the difference. Both all ranging in age. I'm gonna have... Just off my own personal preferences, I'm, I I gotta give it to like Marvel or comic fans, honestly. Just the amount of shit I've seen in theaters and like everything else. Just the, the, yeah. Comic book fans are just like, I don't know, man. I remember I worked in Utah and there's this guy that I used to work with. This is, I'm not even exaggerating. During the Marvel Infinity War era, he took off like two weeks of work so he could go see it like every day. I'm not even joking. Like he, he made his kids go to school and everything. This is probably like a 38 year old guy every day. And he would like post on his social media and he was like crying. <laughs> And he was like a big smoker too. I, I think about that a lot of like, I, I, I associate like shitty smell, like shit smell, like a fart and like cigarette smoke a lot with Marvel comic fans now because of that. So I don't know. Uh, yeah. Next up, World of Warcraft versus Smash Bros. God, these are some heavy hitters right off the fucking bat, huh? I want to get off the way and say Smash Bro players I know have a tendency to smell. And I know that people say, well, at tournaments they would say, hey, be sure you take a shower and put on deodorant. There's a lot of people that do that. I remember at Magic tournaments I went to, Magic the Gathering tournaments or card tournaments, they would have that shit on the door. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know Smash Bros gets a lot of hate. I made that Smash Maggot cartoon back in the day, which I will say, love that character, love that creature. But the more I think about too, WoW back in the day, WoW makes me think of like, Mountain Dew, sugary food, and it makes me think of like weed, my like uh, my buddy hitting a pipe and just getting fucking absolutely high while he plays World of Warcraft for like an uninterrupted 14 hours before his body just physically collapses below him. Smash Bros players, I imagine like usually some kind of zip up anime jacket and like greasy hair that's like really flat and low down to the side of their head. The biggest thing I'm thinking about World of Warcraft 2 though is the neat nest aspect. These people are sitting and festering at their desk for a long, long time. Time. I'm imagining like, just trash everywhere, moldy food. They're grinding away. Grinding, piss buckets, piss bottles. Why are piss bottles so common? You gotta stop gaming. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, I've played World of Warcraft. I mean, you're just like, far, like, get up and go take a piss when you're like just doing a random fucking quest. It's not that big of a deal. Smash Bros players though too, from some of the personal stuff I've seen, I feel like even I worked at a game store when I was in college. And some of those Smash Bros players that came in, man, they did. They had the kind of like a diaper butt feel. Cargo shorts and they had like a diaper butt. It always makes me think that they're like, the pants were always full, full of shit. Also Smash Bros players, here's another fucking thing at that store. Those dudes openly fart. That was like the grossest thing. Like just looking at like a GameCube section, and they're like grabbing stuff off the shelf, and it was just like or like that. And I'm like, do you not? Are you not embarrassed? I'm trying. Uh, it's hard again. I feel like deep down, you know, World of Warcraft has to be the smellier option. Just as somebody that is calcifying, they're like a crustacean on the side of a boat. Like they are just sitting in that chair all day, and they don't move. And you know what's crazy too is that they are contained to their own stink. Yeah, the Smash Bros players go out and stuff, but usually they leave. Also, if you went into like a neat nest den, you're in a cave. Like you're you're in it to fucking to be in it for the long haul. Hmm. I gotta go wow. That was a heavy hit around, but wow. to think Smash Bros players got knocked off first round is pretty crazy to me. Next up, we have Call of Duty and Fortnite. This is when we get into different territories. If we always did people that were smelling in just different, like, shitty, poopy ways, I don't think the tournament would be that diverse. So I wanted to throw Call of Duty and Fortnite in here because here's the thing about Call of Duty and Fortnite. This is every Call of Duty streamer I see. Some kind of athletic tee. They definitely just talked about how they got done working out. The cap is either to the side or they have some kind of product in their hair to look good because you know they're getting bitches later. They eat on stream, usually something healthy to show how they are. But this is what I picture when I think of Call of Duty, I picture a guy who's just like, die, it's gonna be a short stream today because I gotta go and watch the Dallas Cowboys play and go finger fuck some chicks outside of a Hooters and like just Axe body spray. I imagine Axe body spray is criminal in Call of Duty scenes. Axe or what was the other one? Tag? Remember Tag body spray? I just imagine various amounts of like things they probably think smell good on somebody. And here's the thing. I'm gonna be passing a lot of judgment on this deal. I, if you ever meet me in person, you're like, can I get a picture? You better expect me to smell terrible. I usually, I smell like a baby diaper the majority of the time. I smell like sweat. I don't even smoke, but I imagine I smell a little bit like a smoker. I don't know how 
how that happens, but that's what I have picture of myself. So I'm passing judgment, but I'm just trying to level the playing field here and saying that like, sometimes I think when people try to smell too good, you smell like a big artificial queef cloud and that doesn't feel good to me. And also the idea that you probably smell like a propane grill because you're like, we got to cook some dogs before the big game. Don't even get the boys over here. We're going to crush some white claws and cook some dogs before the big cowboys game. That's what it feels like to me. They're like saying that and they're just like, or because they're so wealthy, they have a really, really expensive cologne, but put way too much on. It's guilty by Gucci. And just like, you hear the little like hit markers from Call of Duty 2. Oh yeah, that smells good. I graduated from Idaho University. State school kind of guy, whatever, it doesn't matter. Fortnite on the other hand, I think is something similar because it's the same kind of demographic, except it just feels a little more juvenile. Not that Call of Duty guys are mature, but in Call of Duty, they're like, nobody cares, it's not a feat. I'm gonna go fake a fucking bug because you're a stupid bad. bitch. This is what I expect. At Fortnite, they're like, don't freaking talk to me like that. It's that kind of vibe. They're the same kind of guy, except it's just watered. It's like a PG version of that stuff. Yeah, this girl's really pretty and I'd like to kiss her. <laughs> Fortnite players say that? <laughs> That's what I, I don't know if Fortnite players say. I'm just saying that's what I imagine. When I think of Fortnite, I imagine it's just like, yeah, I get the boys together. We don't watch football necessarily, but we did watch our favorite anime last night. And my girlfriend made me tons of chicken nuggies. That's what I picture. Like a beautiful woman. He's like a millionaire, little fucking like greasy guy who's just like, yo, pug and chat, dude. Seriously, did you guys see that sick skill shot I had? And this like fucking beautiful woman comes walking in. She's like, there you go. He's like, my babe bringing me baby carrots and, and ranch for my snack. Like whatever they're like tick, 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 I'm building, which makes me think that sometimes I don't know baby powder when you got a rash in between your like thighs or your taint and you like tick, tick, smoke out your underwear with that baby powder. <sighs> it puts up. I feel like it smells like that. Also look at that guy. Who's that guy that I saw? Nick A thirty. He kind of looks like a car dealer. And every time I go to a car dealer, they always smell like peppermint. I think I don't know if it's because of the hard candies at their desk, but every time I've ever gone to a car and they're like, "Hey, I want to put you in this car," they always smell like peppermints. I don't know why. So I'm trying to think like baby powder mixed with peppermints. That's a big leap. All right. I'm I, I'm trying to formulate this in my own head. I don't know why. Also, too, the baby thing makes me think that like Fortnite players would like just piss themselves. They don't use the bottle. Yeah, they don't use the bottle. They're just like they have like adult diapers and they like piss in their own diapers. And their beautiful girlfriend changes them on. Yeah, screen. and their 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 beautiful girlfriend lays them down on their back and like lifts up their legs and they're like. <laughs> She's like, okay, stop it. And they take off the big piss stain. I'm just going to say Fortnite. <laughs> I'm running too much with Fortnite and it's becoming, and you know what? That's unfair. I want to say that right now, that that's unfair and that's a bias, but that's just where we're at, dude. Pokemon versus MTG, dude, this isn't even a fucking... I put Pokemon up here because it's really cool to open Pokemon cards, or at least it used to be. The horror stories I had... Actually, you know what? One of my friends... I have a friend who is a professional Magic the Gathering player, literally. Goes to qualifiers and stuff. I'm just going to call him, and I'll ask him. Because he does... He plays a lot of the different trading card games and stuff, and I'd be curious to hear what he says. What's up, man? Hey, man. Are you busy? Oh, uh, no. What's up? Hey, I had a quick question. Do you think um, Magic the Gathering players or Pokemon players, which one do you think smells worse? Smells worse? Yeah. Uh, probably Magic the Gathering by, like, a good amount. <laughs> what? Just because usually, like, most Magic players are men in their, like, 12 to older than us, and they don't take very good care of themselves, whereas Pokemon players a lot more of the time is, like, kids. Oh, I see. Okay. I mean, you play Magic. Yeah, but, is, is that a testimony to you? Do you think you smell bad? Oh, constantly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but, no, I notice you guys whenever I'm there, you're just like, good God. Get down. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Nick. What I will say, though, is Yu Gi Oh players are on a different fucking planet. Really? Oh, yeah. You okay. Smell something. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Nick. No problem. Bye. Right. There you have it. I will say I went, I, I don't know what it is about card stores. Card stores are always next to Taiwanese restaurants. I don't know what kind of business strategy that is that in every strip mall, there has to be a Taiwanese or some kind of fried chicken sandwich place, but people bring in that food in styrofoam containers and it's like all sweaty. You know when you open it and there's just like, it looks like someone just like fucking brought it in from outside, like the rain. You know what I mean? You bring that in, it just smells like spices and shit in there. The amount of times too, dude, I've gone to a Magic the Gathering tournament. Oh my God. And people like, will let their farts rip on those like plastic chairs and it sounds like a fucking 200 count bobcat thing going off and then they what, what they do after they, they do <laughs> they do that 
And they're like, well, there goes Billy again. Billy is always doing that. And it just, it's like this thick mildew haze. It, it doesn't, it, this doesn't even seem fair. Imagine, it's just on a different fucking level. Also, too, dude, Pokemon players aren't grinding Commander. Pokemon players aren't fucking busting packs open for draft. Having to follow standard routines, modern routines, legacy routines. They're not trying to figure out how the fuck you're supposed to beat Amulet Titan combos, right? What happens in Pokemon? Who fucking knows? Garbage. We're moving on. I had to, I forfeited a game in Magic because the guy I was playing was farting constantly and I couldn't stand the smell. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. When, when was this? I think like second grade. I was playing with my uncle at a college and like, well, the worst part was my brother was talking to my opponent. So like when it was his turn, he was like just sitting there talking and just, yeah, letting it rip. And then I was like, okay, I just quit. <laughs> I would do, uh, there's no way. If a guy was like, okay, I play Island on tap. And just like. I'm pretty sure he shit his pants. Like, I think he should, like. <laughs> <laughs> Turn to Tormagoyev. <laughs> and he's like, oh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I believe it's a three, four right now. Let me count the my graveyard. <laughs> Yeah, he's a three, four. Okay, there we go. Well, the funny thing is like afterwards I told my uncle, he's like, oh, you're done soon. I was like, yeah, I quit. <laughs> I quit. And then he's like, or I, I, I forfeit. And he's like, what? Are you serious? He's like, why do I even take you if you're not even going to play? Good fucking point, dude. That's a good point. You know what you should have done? You should have farted back at the guy and see, see if you couldn't have pushed your limits there, dude. <laughs> Next up, we have bronies and furries. This is kind of interesting. These are both two people who kind of cosplay. Now, furries are different because those motherfuckers are in a sweat, like a like a spa, basically inside those suits. I mean, I can only, I can't even imagine. I've seen some people at some like cons where they take off their furry helmet and they're just like, I mean, like drenched in sweat. I just, I mean, just the moisture level. Bronies, I'm trying to think about. Every time I see videos of bronies on the internet, you know what's weird is they're always, they always meet up at like Denny's, or like a restaurant, and they sing, which doesn't really have anything to do with their smell, but it's just, you're, you're painting a picture, right? If I was at like a Denny's, 9.30, and I just saw like a group of people, a cavalier of people come in, sit down, and start singing brony songs, I'm truly, really trying to think about what I would smell. Because also, here's another thing too. When people sweat, it's a byproduct also. The smell is a byproduct of what you're eating. And I don't think bronies, at least from what I know, they're from my own prejudice, bronies don't eat the best diet. I would imagine a lot of greasy foods, a lot of sugar. So I imagine they're sweating, they're walking around a lot in their packs of friends. Though there's probably one alpha in the group who does this thing. Also, you know what I also think of too, is I think of a lot of hair dye. A lot of different kind of chemical smells, like a, like a, like a cheap salon almost, mixed in with like hash browns and just like grease, like a, that kind of smell. These are really unfair because these are, I'm just trying to, I'm painting a picture in my head and I'm trying to justify these things, but inevitably I'm trying to be like, is it worse than a person who is trapped inside an insulated suit walking around? Because then also with the furry thing, you have to think, if you can kind of smell a furry from outside their suit, if they took that off, that would be like... Some wear diapers, too. Yeah, and some people wear diapers just because they don't want to take off the suits, so they just shit and piss in their, in their furry suits. I'm trying to think, do you think it, there's probably some bronies who wear diapers? Oh yeah, Fluttershy diapers. When I think of brony, I don't really think of like, oh, they're, they smell. I just think of like, if anything, I think that they're probably well-groomed because they're like combing out those fucking pony hairs. They're probably combing themselves out. They're probably fucking well-groomed. Nice nails. I mean, all kinds of shit. I got to give it to furries, I feel like. It feels mean? obvious to me, like looking back on it. This is a good one. Costco versus Walmart shoppers. Walmart is obviously the lower income crazy shit, but also, dude, I've seen some crazy fucking Costco shoppers. Especially recently, there's like that father-son duo, which I don't think that they smell, but it, it gives me off a, I'm trying to think of the odors of that too. Like a lot of Irish spring, Irish spring body wash. Because here's the thing, Walmart, I think people are going there with like tobacco stained shirts, shit filled pants, greasy palms and armpits, right? So it's like, the human body. Costco feels like they are covered in everything that Costco sells. Hot dogs. Chicken bake. Shake and bake. No, chicken. What the fuck is chicken bake? It's what that guy was eating. The little kid was eating. I'm a Costco guy. I always eat a chicken bake. <laughs> I'm a Costco guy. I always eat it. Or the, uh, yeah, so a hot dog, a fucking chicken bake, whatever the fuck that is. And then wholesale everything. Wholesale rotisserie chicken. I'm saying that these people, they smell however when they go in, but when they go out, they smell like product. You walk through a certain aisle, you might smell like dog food because it's wholesale dog food. People fucking ripping the bags open from the deals. Get off fucking pedigree. And they rip it open. Kirkland, Kirkland dog food. And they get covered in fucking like dog food kibble dust or something like that. So then they just smell like boiled hot dog processed chicken shit from the food court, the Irish spring body wash that they bought 12 bottles of this morning, and they just lather it too, because they're just like, we have so much of it, we have to fucking lather ourselves up. You know what I mean? 
like as much as like a whole bottle. Every time I shower, I use a whole thing of Irish Springs. Versus Walmart, I feel like it's like we're we're gonna be lucky if we hit the shampoo aisle. We're gonna be lucky, dude. Those motherfuckers are buying single bottles of Yoohoo. Oh, no. I guess that's, that's an interesting thought experiment, though. Would I rather be around someone... I have to put myself in a situation where if we were in a neutral zone where it wasn't their specified store and you were standing next to the people at a Target and they're both, like, out of their element. They're, like, looking around like a scared deer. And I walked past the Walmart person. I walked past the Costco person. But they are, they're in, the, they're in their, own, their full stink mode. You have to make it fair. Well, you could tell the Costco guy. You'd be like, oh, that's a Costco Oh, dude. Do we have eyes? We would be able to see which one's who. Because when I think of Walmart, I think of, like, just a big old woman. A big old woman with, like, pajama pants on and Homer Simpson slippers, where it's like the foot goes in the mouth. Life has fucking beat her down, and she's fucking... She has her hands on the, on the handlebar of that fucking Walmart cart, and she's, I mean, just, like, almost like Sisyphus pushing the fucking boulder up the hill. She's just like, gotta feed the kids again and make sure Mark's fed tomorrow before he gets up at five in the morning for his construction job. She's just fucking trudging through that goddamn Walmart like it's you know how many times I mean it's like literally it's a Greek tragedy is what Walmart shoppers are to me it's like Prometheus being tortured every day their liver gets eaten out by a fucking vulture Costco is oddly I have more sympathy for the Walmart shopper Costco to me is the stench is from their own greed from their own consumption and to me I don't know why but that my, my, my nose is, is scaling that way I don't like the Costco person I like the Walmart person more but the Walmart person definitely smells worse I just want to say that right now dude if you have a Costco membership I I don't fucking trust you, dude. That's, that goes with Sam's Club too, though. You can't be in one of these things where it's like buying wholesale. Fuck that. Am I wrong? No. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Next up, Steven Universe versus has been hotel fans. Look at that, dude. How proud are we to have a YouTube property bought by fucking Amazon Prime up here facing up against a network television TV show? I don't think I've ever been around a bunch of has been. Like, I mean, has been hotel is obviously widely successful. I've only ever seen like tweet interactions with them versus when I worked in LA, I knew of a lot of people. I went to a lot of drink and draw things in LA when I worked in the animation industry and those motherfuckers had like the Steven Universe shirt on and stuff. I always smell like kimchi, like kimchi and fucking Cheetos. That was like a big thing. Never alcohol. F what fucked me up too, and this is me just being biased, is I try to go to these drink and draws, have like a little buzz. Why not, dude? Have a fucking whiskey and coke, hang out, just we're drawing, hanging out, whatever. These motherfuckers would bring like juice. They bring juice and they'd bring their own snacks. It's like it's a bar. Like they're, it's already there. And they'd be showing up with like doggy bags of shit. And they always smell like Korean barbecue, fucking kimchi, Cheetos, some kind of Asian cuisine usually is what I always smelled. I don't know why. Hasbro Hotel. I mean, what, I mean, what would you say? What, what does a Hasbro Hotels fan smell like? I don't really think I've ever been like, you know, is a Hasbro Hotels, are they smelly? The only thing I could th think is like, oh, you're smelly is because maybe you're chronically online. Yeah. Maybe, so you kind of get the same World of Warcraft thing where it's like, oh, I, you know, you live in your own bubble and you don't have someone there to be like, hey, those Fruit of the Loom boxes you're wearing, you shit your pants four times and you haven't changed it. And it's like, you just become accustomed to your own smell. I mean, I'm leaning towards Steven Universe, but it's just because of that fucking kimchi, man. Kimchi is fucking brutal. Like, freshly cooked kimchi. Oh, my God. I'm just gonna go Steven Universe. Out of ignorance, I feel like I just need to... I'd go Steven Universe. I think that's a fair one, too. I don't think that, you know... Swifties versus metalheads. I thought this one was particularly interesting because I have a lot of obvious interest in metal. As you know, on this channel, I wear metal shirts all the time. And let me tell you, every metal show consists of, it smells like weed, sweat, and it smells like somebody in the midst of while they were moshing or headbanging definitely shit their pants. So it's kind of like a hazy sewage kind of smell is what I would say if you had to generalize it. Swifties I thought was kind of interesting because you do your best to get in your Sunday's best to look as good as you possibly can. But to me, the Swifty thing goes into almost like the college duty thing where it's like you do too much like when i think of a swifty i think of when the girl's like it smells like green apple and they like and they spray it mm, and like glitter and just fucking mm. it smells like green apple and, and fucking hairspray and it's like just chemicals so i'm thinking like just a, a a large amount of chemicals and stuff it's like whenever you like walk by somebody i walked by this girl one time and you could tell she had like a bunch of makeup on and her hair was dead but it felt so like my teeth like it's almost like you know when it's like you almost taste like nickel in your mouth or like if you ever have like blood in your mouth you taste that i like walked by and i was like 
And I did that, and I, I could have swore because of the chemicals, I like tasted nickel in my mouth, and I was just like repulsed, like oh, whatever. And I don't know if I've necessarily had that thing. Like I've definitely walked into a metal show and been like, this smells terrible. But it was like, what do I expect? I think that's maybe why. You also gotta think Swifties are gonna be in a big group, all different smells. Well, that's what I mean is like every metalhead will probably smell the same, so it's a big collective smell. Every Swiftie is going to maybe have similar smells, but it's gonna be different chemicals and different concoctions. It's like a fucking alchemist. It's like an alchemist like rave party gone wrong or something like that. Also too, I wonder if all the chemicals affect their sweat. Like if they were sitting there, like in a, they're in a big concert, right? They're in a stadium, a hundred thousand people. It gets hot. If they start sweating, the makeup that's like rubbing off or whatever, what does that smell like? I would say they're all generally healthy. I would say healthy eaters. So it's probably maybe not that bad. Well, I guess to make it fair though, if it was a hundred thousand metalheads, that'd be terrible too. Are they more overweight than Swifty fans? Are metalheads more overweight than Swifty fans? Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna say the metalhead barometer of people are probably a little more out of shape than Swifties, I would imagine. You, I mean, I gotta give it to metalheads. I love you metalheads, but you, you fucking smell. What am I supposed to say? Oh! Round two, here we go. All right, well, it's gonna get harder now. I'm I, I'm curious, I, I will say, it seems like every person that won the first round, I had some kind of personal relationship with or had some kind of experience with. So I'm curious to see where it goes on from here. Starting up first, Marvel fans and comic book fans versus World of Warcraft. <laughs> World of Warcraft is going to be a hard one to beat just because you have to also imagine in this video, we are talking about the extreme of the fans. It isn't, I guess to an extent we talk about, usually it boils down to the extreme and you can generalize people, but obviously generalized people are going to have interest in something and do whatever. I'm talking about the extreme people who take it to the extreme and a Marvel fan that takes it to the extreme, I would imagine is probably a 36, to 43 year old guy. Every Funko Pop. Has all the Funko Pops. Big boy, you know, he's a big guy. Where's the one, the same Marvel shirt? Wears the same Captain America shirt that's maybe like a size just a little too small. A pair of basketball shorts. Yeah, gym shorts. Infinity gauntlet. Has an infinity gauntlet and he's wearing Nike Air Monarchs, which I will say is a very comfortable shoe, so I see why he does that. I'm really trying to be unbiased here too because of the guy who scratched his ass and smelt it in front of me because that tore me up so bad because realistically every person that i've ever met and this is going to be rude every person that i've ever met that plays world of warcraft has a distinct smell to them even if they're kind of like in shape motherfuckers just still smell weird it's like mold like musty mold or something like that i don't know what's the fuck that thing i don't think world of warcraft people would even like disagree i think they'd just be like yeah pretty much marvel people still if i had to give marvel any credit i think that marvel people still lean to where it's just like yeah i like comic books and it's it's like very casual. It's like whenever you go to the gym, I, I, one of the biggest fucking pet peeves I have in my life is whenever you go to the gym and it's the training to go Super Saiyan and it's like, I love anime and it's just like this fucking ripped guy and you're like, dude, get the fuck out of here. Not that anime people can't be fucking jacked or whatever, but it's just one of those things where I'm like, you're not, you're not, you're not in this shit like the rest of us. You know what I mean? You have an escape. You love your life. You're handsome, whatever. We get it. I'm trying to think about those people who are just like, I watch Marvel movies because it is the only way out. And I think that the people that have World of Warcraft, I think those motherfuckers are fighting a little harder. <laughs> wow. So I'm going to go World of Warcraft. <laughs> Next up is Fortnite versus MTG. This isn't even fair again. Yeah. Magic the Gathering, dude. I I don't even have anything to say. Magic the Gathering, 100%. That's not even a fair one. Fortnite just got put down like a fucking 12-year-old golden retriever. Sorry, dude. <sighs> furries versus Walmart shoppers. That is fucking... I'm, you know what's fucked up about this imagery, too, is that you have the furry pictures of it, and then the other image is just literally black text that says Walmart. <laughs> It's creating a new level of mysticism that's fucking me up here. Mmm. God, this is a hard one. People wear diapers in their furry suit and they're sweating profusely. And also they vape in them and shit. The inside of that furry suit would smell so bad, but goddamn if that Walmart shopper doesn't just, I mean, <sighs> brutal. It is hard to go into Walmart and like... <laughs> Every time I go into Walmart, it's almost like a fuck. It, it confirms evolution to me every time where I'm like, I see some guy in there. I mean, just doing the most archaic shit. And you're just like, there's no way we were created from something of a higher power. This is, we are, we are monkey. We are not that far off from being a fucking monkey, dude. Sorry, but it makes me fucking depressed when I go into Walmart. I'm just like this. I lose faith in God every time I go in there. But does that, I don't think that correlates with the smell. The smell. I think, I, I think you got to go furry. I think you do because it's just, it's a, 
literal Venus flytrap. It's like an Iron Maiden of stink, of stench. And there is no escaping that moisture, dude. It is gonna, it's gotta be moldy as fuck in there. Like musty. You know, whenever you like wash your clothes and they're still too wet, leave out too long, and you're just like, oh, God damn. You have to rewash them again. That's what I bet that is. I don't even know how the fuck they wash those things. You, you, there's no way. Can you throw a furry suit in the washer? You have to do dry cleaning. You have to do dry cleaning? You better have a trusted fucking dry cleaner to go do that. <laughs> Steven Universe versus Metalheads. Hmm. I mean, the obvious answer feels like Metalheads to me, just because of the poop aspect. But now I'm trying to get down to the philosophy of smell. What is the essence of the smell? Is there a camaraderie in the smell that makes it more, like not appealing, but makes it more like, oh, I could shrug that off? Because like I said before, with Steven Universe, you have the kimchi thing. You also kind of have the chronic online aspect. Maybe not as much anymore, but when it was up there, Steven Universe fans, I imagine, wash their clothes more than Metalheads. And crust punks. You do have crust punks and stuff that isn't necessarily a metalhead. That's punk. There's a difference. Crust metalheads. It's hard, man. I'm trying to think. Metalheads I wouldn't describe as like chronically online. It's just like a weekend warrior kind of get up where you're like, yeah, I'm wearing my shit and I want to go and I want to rage. So that's why you smell bad. Versus Steven Universe, those kind of vibes. I wonder if that's just like a, that, that's like a lifestyle. I also imagine there's probably some more cosplaying aspects to Steven Universe to where you're probably in various things that cause more stank. I feel like I'm just hating on Steven Universe right now. Because I, I'm, I'm honestly leaning towards Steven Universe and I don't know why. My gut reaction says Steven Universe. Like I almost, I just almost want to bark like Steven Universe wins. I want to say that, but I'm really trying to justify it. And also, here's the thing, dude. Nothing wrong with being smelly. Sometimes people smell. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? The thing about being smelly is you need to realize that, like, people probably just don't want to be around you because you're fucking smelly. That doesn't, that's not the end of the world, but it's just like, hey, there's other smelly people out there who probably won't give a fuck. I don't know. I'm doing Steven Universe. I don't give a fuck. I'm putting it up there. I've met enough metalheads where I'm like, motherfucker smells good. Riding to a show, I'm like, what the f it smells like caramel. You know what I mean? Something weird like that where you're like, this motherfucker smells sweet. <sighs> World of Warcraft versus Magic the Gathering is probably the hardest debate of the day. My God, we've listed all the events over and over again. Here's the different thing though that makes this round interesting is that World of Warcraft is all based in your house, right? It's your nest. It's like where you cultivate all of your stink. And very rarely, I would say, do you go out to the outside world. Like the diehards, like the actual grinders and stuff like that. You're gonna spend the majority of your time in your room doing whatever. You order pizza, have it brought to you. You, know, you very rarely do whatever. Magic the Gathering, you do have to go out and into the world and then you toxify a space. It's like your second nest. It's your second nest. Yeah. Or even if it's like you don't have your own nest, these card shops are your new nest. So in a way, Magic the Gathering, that, that stink travels farther versus the World of Warcraft, it's more combined. But if we had to just be like, what is a smellier person? World of Warcraft has, actually picturing a neat nest, that is a, an accumulation of stuff building in a toxic war zone kind of environment. Versus a Magic the Gathering guy could smell like shit, farts, whatever, be sweaty, and then they go to a place, and at a time that can be a collective stink, but whenever they're gone, it gets cleaned out. So then it's like not terrible all the time, but the people are stinky. This is hard. It's the additional element too, because if it's all based around sweat, shit, and like burps and stuff, it's all pretty even across the board, but it's the extra elements. Like I think of like World of Warcraft, I think about like being down in a room and a guy's just like chain smoking weed and cigarettes, especially like inside cigarettes. Who are we? That shit's never coming out of the carpet, never coming out of like the fabric of anything on your desk or keyboard, anything. It's just embedded. Some screen that looks like it's filmed over because it's just like an accumulation of like pop cans have burst open and like whatever else. Magic the Gathering though too it's just like a collected chaos it almost makes it where it's just like they live a normal life yet it's like a stinky skunks walking among us you know what's fucked up too is you can like it, it, this is a weird thing too you ever go to a person and you're like hey do you play magic the gathering They're like oh yes and then you start smelling it it's like they disguise themselves until they they reveal their hand and that's whenever that that stink goes out like a spore <sighs> Do you think there's any merit to it being contained? Or do you think that makes it worse? I was gonna say, like, are you basing it individual? Because I think at a Magic tournament, there's gonna be a lot more smelly people that's making it. Well, you could say the same thing about a World of Warcraft thing. BlizzCon. If you had a BlizzCon kind of thing, that would be just as worse, if not worse. Because then also that collected stink that's been marinating. Ooh, it's because the stink has been marinating. And then when they go out, it's way worse than like fresh batches. It's like aged wine versus like bare naked wine. $12 bottle versus like, this is the good shit that's been aging for whatever. It's gotta be World of Warcraft wow. based off that. Just off the marination and then going out. 
And then Furries versus Steven Universe. This feels like Furries to me, I feel like just win this. Because in part of me, I don't know if this is ignorant of me to say, but I mean, I've been saying that this whole time, but the I feel like there's a subsect of people who are probably Steven Universe fans who are also furries. So to me, I'm like, you might as well just give it to furries because it's kind of the same vibe, which this is honestly, this is kind of a telltale final here. The finals. All right. <laughs> World of Warcraft versus furries. These are like legends that <laughs> the legends speak for themselves kind of thing. I'm trying I'm trying to think. Hmm. God. They're comparable too, because you can't so you can't wash the suit. When you wear the suit, it's almost like your neatness. Exactly. It, it is comparable. They are both isolated in their own ways. World of Warcraft marinates themselves in their neatness. Furries marinate themselves in the suit. I would go on a limb and say the, the suits do not get washed that frequently. If I had to go on a big limb, and I know there's gonna be people who be like, I wash my suit every day, or something like that. I get that. I'm just saying as a whole, I bet you the suits do not get washed a lot, is what I would say. God gives his toughest angels the hardest battles, doesn't he? They're very comparable though. World of Warcraft people maybe have an unhealthier lifestyle of, I imagine a lot of World of Warcraft people I know smoke cigarettes, don't drink water, usually a lot of sugar pop type stuff, vape and uh, smoke weed and shit. Like a lot of smoking, a lot of stuff that just like their teeth are usually fucked up. Once again, I'm paraphrasing. I'm just saying people I've met in my life versus furries. I've seen people, I've seen a lot of furries vape, whatever. I've seen a lot of furries get fucking wasted. I've gone to a convention and there's been like fucking just furries drunk off their ass because people drink in it and you can just put the mask over so pe you, people don't know and they're kind of just like walking around whatever so it's a different kind of unhealthy there and the reason i'm bringing health up too is just because that correlates with smell so i'm just trying to put out there it's almost impressive too that the furries are isolated but yet they're still walking among us it's like you can get little glimpses of it but as soon as that like head comes off but it just reeks well here's an experiment if you had to put a person got just got out of being in a fursuit for 10 hours at a con and you had to put your head in the in the, the neck hole and like whiff that made me gag a little bit thinking about that that made me gag thinking about that a little bit i'm trying to think of what would be comparable with a world of warcraft thing just go in there and eat nest you got a deep whiff something though would it be like they get up off their gaming chair and you have to sniff the chair that would be somewhat comparable if you wanted to sniff the ass of the furry suit you, you could do that too but you'd have to put your head in there but it would all be the same i mean like you sniffing that would be the same i'm trying to think of what would be worse Probably the furry suit. I, I tell you what though, there there are some, some of these chairs can tell stories with the scent of them. Like if you smelled that chair, you would probably, you'd be blasted with some kind of prophecy of like what this life has been like for this person. The furry suit is just this automated, it's like an automaton. It's its own living piece of skin that you're smelling. Goes back to being mobile too. You can take that thing anywhere. That's what I'm saying is it's like, it's a, it's a hazardous time bomb no matter where you go. But does that make it smellier? I think I have my answer. The winner of the smelliest fandom, I think, has to be... Furries. What it's gotta be furries. Man? The idea that it's because you move around and you are, uh, <laughs> you're mobile with it makes it such a crazier concept to me too that the stink is moving. It gives it much more lore, which I think is very fun. But I will say also, even the guys at Bad Dragon, which are, they're, it's like a pretty predominantly furry based company and they're all furries. Even one of the owners of it, I won't go on who says it, but even he jokes about how crazy the furry community can be and how weird or unhygienic it can be at times, which to me, if you're getting it right from the fucking source too, that's hard to compete against versus yeah i've seen a lot of like mmorpg kind of people like wow and stuff they're obviously very smelly but at least it's contained in a weird way also they're not moving around a lot so you don't get that like gelatinous kind of like sweat that you get from being around and letting something like sweat continuously soaking into a piece of fabric and it just like a moldy kind of salty smell in the air oh god also other bodily fluid and other bodily yeah you cut fucking coming in the suit doing all kinds of stuff you know what i mean it could even be like you fucking get cut in the suit blood or you know, i don't know like i don't know how the blood's getting in there but i'm just saying like you could you get shit in there your diaper could leak and your shit could get in there you could piss in your suit get come on the fur on the outside get someone's coming on your fur on the outside that's no one wants that you know what i mean i think all no i think furry is a pretty good answer to this i mean i'm curious to hear what the comment discord down below because i feel like there's going to be a lot of different there's going to be a lot of different comments i bet but i feel very very confident with the furry choice that we've made today. And I do think that if there's more fandoms to be had, we can do a second round and stuff. But for this batch, I think the furry feels, it feels like it's a good winner. And you know what, here's the thing. If you're a furry, be proud of this. <laughs> you're already taking such a leap by being in a 
giant animal suit. Wear your stink with pride. Don't bow. You haven't bowed down to anything else yet. So don't bow down to the fucking stink. Embrace the stink. And also, we have to give a nice round of applause to World of Warcraft, who is our runner up here. It's a very nice, nice deal. Everyone else here, just know that there is a level of stink in everybody. But furries are just the ones that probably smell the worst. Thank you so much, everybody watching. I look forward to reading the comments on this one. And I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.